What do we got over here? Wait a minute. What do we not have over here? Oh, it looks like a nice little pin, that's for sure. Another one of our makeshift projects, guys. Hope you like that. Pretty simple. You got a pallet on that side, pallet on that side, two boards, and a little tarp on the back with a little bit of pine shavings. Now, if you're wondering what that little pin is for, you're about to find out. Welcome back guys to CG Family Farm. I know you guys may think that I'm just a really lucky person, but honestly, sometimes it has to do with the amount of friends that you make, guys. So if you guys are gonna become uh, part of the family farm community, you have to reach out there, make more friends that also have animals, uh, that also know how to keep animals, that also may be able to help you out with advice, things like that, guys. You really, really have to make more and more friends whenever you're starting up your little backyard farm. With that being said, my good friend came in golden once again, guys. If you guys remember those, what is it, 60 chickens that we got for free? Out of those uh, big old chicken, it's not a factory, it's, it's a big chicken coop, right? So that same friend of mine that gave me all those free chickens, he has now gave me one more free animal, all right, guys? And this one, you guys will be impressed. And honestly, he's tell, he told me that that's not the first time they gave one away so that's that's something that you guys have to consider all right i had to step back over here because i i don't have a mic on me right now and it's really windy out there so you're gonna have to excuse the audio but anyways he told me that it's not the first time they give away that type of animal all right i think in the past two years they've gave away five i know that sound like a lot but again if you're friends with a farmer that one of those five animals could be yours guys so Enough talking about it. I really want to show you that animal because honestly, I know that's what you guys are here for. And honestly, I, I can't, I guess you could say, show that animal off enough of its beauty. Like, that's something I've always wanted to have. Uh, I know we had one prior, but it was a whole different breed. And it just didn't work out for us. And especially, it was already like around seven months old and, and still just not tame. Just didn't want to have nothing to do with us. But this one here, much, much different. Especially because it's a bottle baby. All right. Oh. She is heavy, but calm down. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, Whew. she is a beauty. Ha. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh the first time that I actually put this on her, that's probably why she's acting like that. And the only reason I put it on her right now is because we're about to bottle feed her. We barely got her yesterday, and uh, she did really good yesterday. We bottle fed her in the afternoon. We bottle fed her, fed her in the at night before bed. She did great. Huh? Oh, she's okay. She's okay. And uh, today, I bought a feather in the morning, and then like around 1 p.m. Yeah. What? It's okay. Around 1 p.m., I felt like it was a really nice day out, and she needed to get out there and just walk around a little bit. I didn't want her to be in the garage the whole time inside that little pen, so I let her uh, run around here freely. As you saw, I got her. She's not too bad. It's just she doesn't like how this feels, and I am gonna take it off after I bottle feed her and then I put her inside the garage. But right now, we gotta go get the, the bottle ready. So I'm gonna tie her up even though she's gonna kick and she's gonna try to pull back, but come on. Oh. Alrighty, so we bought this milk replacer right here, non-medicated. Uh, this is my first time getting a bottle baby. I actually been wanting one for a long time and it just so happened that, like I mentioned, my good, uh, good friend called me up and said, hey, there's one available. Now I'll tell you the whole story here in just a minute after we bottle feed them, alright? Alright, here you go. Where's the bottle? Alright, so here's this bottle. It actually holds 1500 milliliters which is uh, pretty close to two quarts. So we're gonna be mixing, um, 
it, it, it says that you're supposed to give them two of these bottles a day with each having three scoops of this milk replacer inside of it, right? But just because, I don't know, I want to play it safe and I feel like it's just not enough if you only feed them once in the morning, one that once in the afternoon. What I want to do instead is actually I'm only going to put two scoops in this bottle and then that way I'll do three total bottles a day and that gives you the same amount of uh, scoops overall, right? So that's the game plan. I already got the powder in here. I'm about to go fill up with nice warm water and then we're going to come out here and little Santiago is going to help me bottle feed that little calf. Scratch that. Heifer. Like it's a heifer. Too. I don't know. It's easier to say calf. Yeah, you're going to bottle feed. Let's go get that warm water. So we got it nice and warm now. It's nice and mixed up. It's ready to go. And uh, whenever I bought this bottle, we had a hard time the first time we gave it to him. Turns out, again, if you're going to go after the little bottle baby, uh, you might want to puncture that hole just a little bit more. Let me show you guys. This one up top. And I even this one right here, I, uh, I didn't cut it, but like I went in there and just kind of turned my blade a few times. So I carved it out just a little bit more. Because, I mean, she really wasn't drinking nothing when I first bought the bottle. So... Anyways, a lot better now. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you put this little breather, breather hole like close to her nose, then that's gonna actually prevent it from actually allowing the, the fluid to come down faster. So what I found out, and that's only, this is gonna be what, the third time I bought a feed? But what I found out was, was uh, easier or better is when you turn it a little bit to the side, it turns out that that one has to be like right here in between their jaw and then that way it breathes more and they they drink a lot better right so anyways guys first timer so these are little things that i'm finding out uh i've done my research and that's what i'm gonna let you guys know about about the research but if i miss anything if you guys want to add anything uh any kind of advice for me or anybody else that's gonna be getting little bottle babies please let us know in the comments down below because i'm always willing to learn all right guys let's get started all right first we gotta calm her down a little bit. She's a little bit too riled up right now. The dogs aren't helping. They never do, right? Uh, I mean, I guess they keep the chicken safe. That's one thing. So that's why they gotta stick around. No, I, I got it. So while we bottle feed them, we're going to tell you the things that I researched and learned about them. You going to help me? Right. So if you purchase a bottle baby, what you want to make sure is pretty much their age. So this one right here, whenever my buddy called me, he said that uh, she was around five days old. So given that she's at least of that many days, then we know that she at least got her colostrum. Colostrum, of course, is the... I guess you could say the cow's first milk, right? So that's the one that has more nutrition and that's one, the one that really helps them out. Now you get like a one day old little calf or heifer, you really gotta buy that colostrum uh, supplement, give that to them first and then you can get the milk Mommy, replacer. Is that a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. That's a girl. So that's why we're only doing milk replacer because she's already had her and colostrum. And she's a girl. And she's a girl, right? So, okay, so we learned that. We learned that much of it. Um, I already talked about how much you got to feed it, which roughly it says... Now we clean our house. Yeah, we cleaned it, huh? Roughly it says about six total ounces a day, right? Well, you can do one in the morning, one in the afternoon, a whole bottle, or you can do three bottles like we do. Uh, two ounces in the morning, two ounces in the midday, and two ounces in the, two ounces in the afternoon. The one other thing that I learned is that, honestly, when I first went to go pick her up, uh, my buddy... Uh, of course, they're out roaming around all these uh, cows and heifers and uh, little calves and everything, right? So from uh, cows, yep. yeah, so from from just simply seeing them far away, my buddy and myself thought at first glance like, okay, well that's a little calf, right? Yeah, so that's we're like that's a awesome. Little calf. Yeah, turns out it wasn't a little calf; it was a little heifer. Um, a we get a little bit graphic, I guess, but what you see right here in this area, that's actually their umbilical cord. I was thinking it was something else, right? When I brought her home, and then I got here, and then all of a sudden she started urinating out of the back end. Well, excuse the word, but out of this area, I was like, wait a minute. 
That's not a little calf. Because I hadn't really picked up her tail to see yeah, anything else yeah, other than I saw yeah, this and I was like, well, that's, yeah, that's a calf. Yeah. So, yes, this is a little heifer, right? I know that's not, not really anything that may help you out, but um, because probably when you purchase one, they'll probably tell you what it is, a calf or a heifer. But if you don't know what they look like, this is an actual cat, uh, heifer, all right? Uh, another thing that I actually read that I have to do is that of course, we know that it's a heifer and has her uh, female parts back here. Well, whenever they're born and the first few days, mama takes care of cleaning everything up, right? Um, and now it has become our job because we don't want her to get infected for any kind of debris, any kind of any, anything that uh, may get in that area and cause an infection, right? What you do is just pretty much just grab a napkin, add warm water to it, and just dab that area. You want to make sure it stays clean. So we can keep away from any kind of infection, right? So those are the few things that I've learned. I know there's not that much. Um, really, this video isn't mainly to show you guys how to raise a bottle baby because this is my first time I'm learning myself. But so far, it's pretty fun. It is a little bit of work, but um, I don't know. It, it's it's a nice experience. You know, if you actually like the, the, the farm lifestyle, then I, I can imagine seeing a little done little Angus heifer here, the beauty that she has. I know you guys would probably be wanting to bottle feed her as well, right? So it's a really, really nice experience, Santi. Do you enjoy bottle feeding her? Yeah. yeah? She's gonna be your new little pet? Yeah. Oh, so she can calm down, yeah. see? I think she's ready to go night night. Yeah. Right? Yeah, <laughs> After this, yeah, we are gonna take her inside the garage and put her in there. It's already starting to uh, gonna get dark here shortly and starting to get colder. And there she is, guys. She is safe and warm in her little makeshift pen, right? <laughs> you got to love it, guys. Just find something, make it work, and there it is. I'm probably going to have to get a little bit more pine shavings to cover up that little piece of concrete, but she's got enough right there where, that when she lays down at night, she stays warm. Um, she did great last night. And really, I mean, weather's starting to warm up a little bit anyhow. But I'll still get you a little bit more pine shavings, girl. For now... I let you rest a little bit. I know you've been out and about. I gotta get you some water, uh, and then in about four hours, about 10 p.m., we'll come right back out, and give you your last feeding. All right? We'll see you in a bit. That is one more thing. I guess I forgot to let you guys know is that you do have to give them uh, what they call it, just like water at all times. Like just set something out there for them. That way they can drink water whenever they want it. Right? Um, just because you give them a bottle doesn't mean that that's enough water for them. But that's why I'll, that's also one of the reasons why we're also doing three bottles a day just to make sure she gets enough hydration right so now story time guys all right so you got to see little beautiful beautiful little heifer that we got honestly i can't thank my buddy enough for that so this is exactly what happened yesterday all right guys so yesterday about 4 p.m i was sitting around at home about a feed my children and then i got a phone call from my buddy and said hey man what are you doing i said Nothing, man. We're just about to eat dinner. What's going on? He said, well, I got something for you. And I'm like, all right. You know, you got my attention. What you got? He said, well, you know how you're interested in, in growing your farm more and more? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, and I know, but um, I'm taking it slow right now. I'm taking it slow. He's like, all right, well, I just want to let you know that if you're interested, there is a free, free little heifer for you, all right? I said, all right, what's the catch? He's like, no catch. No catch whatsoever, simply because, well, unfortunately, I guess I should say it that way, is that the mama, the cow, she passed away. So the cow had her, um, and then like three, four days went by, and, and he doesn't know why. They really don't know why, um, but the cow ended up dying, and this little heifer ended up without her mama. So that is one thing, guys. If you have rancher friends, if you have farmers out there, some of these farmers are so big, especially like the one that my buddy works for that owns 300 acres, that they're so big that they, they don't want to fool around with a little uh, calf, a little heifer that, that lost their mama. Because most than likely they're going to lose, that little heifer or calf is going to lose his life because they require so much attention and they just don't have that kind of time, right? So luckily we're more of a hobby farm right now to where we have a little bit of spare time to where I can at least feed her in the morning, feed her midday, feed her in the afternoon. And we're going to try, try so hard to make this little heifer make it all the way through, right? We really, really want to grow her. So 
we're gonna invest time, we're gonna invest money, and hopefully she does great, right? So yes, make you some friends out there, guys. Make you as many friends as possible, because sometimes they will give things away, guys. Um, feed, I've had other, other buddies of mine give me feed. Chickens, I've had a buddy close by here that just didn't want no more chickens, just gave them away to me. Uh, goats, whenever I got all those goats that I had last year, I got a great, great price. Simply because uh, that that friend of ours, well, he's more of a neighbor. He just got tired of goats and just gave me a really, really great price that I couldn't say no to. And and I guess you could pretty much say they were free once I got here to my farm and I started slowly selling them and uh, trading them for other animals. At the end, the two that I have left are definitely, definitely free by now. They paid this, themselves off by now. So anyhow, guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys. For one, I wanted to share that beautiful little heifer. And for two, I wanted to let you guys know that make more farm friends and support local, right? So part of actually making more friends is actually buying for, from a lot more local farmers like us. We're actually starting to sell little farm fresh eggs and I already got some people um, buying it from us, right? So at any given time, I'm, I may just give them free eggs or if they're interested in starting their own little farm, I'll probably give them a chicken. All right, so again, thank you very much for being here, guys. I hope you enjoyed your time. Thank you for all the support, all those great comments you guys are giving me. And we're slowly growing more and more, right, guys? So this farm will continue with a lot more farm animals. For now, we're going to hold tight because that little heifer is going to keep us busy, right? So until next time, y'all get out there. Y'all have y'all some fun, guys. Take care.